we have a rectangular prism which is having a base of 14 to 25 and height 65 mm so rest on hp on its base with the longer side and it is inclined at 30 degree to vp so first we draw an xy line and i have taken a reference point so keeping the protector at that reference point okay marking at 30 degree as you can see <coughs> 30 degree to vp so it is a rectangular prism we need to construct and it is placing with the longer side longer side we have it that is 40 so mark for 30 degree okay angle and draw a line of length passing through this 30 degree angle point okay and show the angle 30 degree okay now on this longer side we need to consider 40 mm so to take reference point of 40 okay measure 40 using scale 40 mm okay so take a protractor and uh, mark at this uh, take a, at this reference point mark for 90 degree exactly perpendicular mark for 90 degree okay again uh, the another reference point also you uh, keep the protractor and mark for 90 degree okay draw two perpendicular lines here passing through that point but it has to be have a length of 40 mm okay 40 mm which is 4 centimeter from the scale and sorry it is a 25 so 25 mm you have to draw okay so now join it so it is 40 by 25 rectangle okay show the dimensions so dimension 40 mm okay mm. here we have 25 okay length of uh, 25 it is okay now we will be marking the namings for top face and bottom face a b c d it is for the top face a1 b1 c1 d1 for the bottom face bottom face not visible that's why it is in bracket now we draw the diagonals to find out the center of the axis of this rectangular prism okay that is uh, o o1 okay now we'll project the projection lines to draw the front view so draw the projection lines here From all these uh, points, we need to draw the projection lines here. Okay. So now on the axis, uh, we have to show the length of 65 from the axis. So that is height of 60. So draw an axis line here. Okay. And the remaining edges also, we will construct it for 65. Okay. Then join it. So you can show the dimension. So dimension of sixty five. That is axis height. You can see it is cut by a, a section plane at an angle of 40 degree to HP and it is exactly occurring at the uh, mid midpoint of the axis height. So we have the axis height of uh, 65. So exactly middle point mean 32.5. So we need to mark on the axis line here. We need to mark for 32.5 here. Exactly we need to mark for 32.5 at the midpoint of the axis midpoint it is exactly 32.5 half of the axis okay so we'll show the dimension okay 
so that is 32.5 okay now we have to take the protractor and mark for an angle 40 degree at this reference point okay mark for angle 40 degree and draw an angle line passing through this point so here we will be constructing a section plane okay we'll extend the same thing so we can show the angle here first so angle it is uh, 40 degree so we'll extend this uh, section plane for the downward side okay okay now we need to dark the that is uh, cut at the remaining portion which is cut by the section plane the remaining uh, portion of the rectangular prism we need to dark this okay okay can now we need to mark the numbers here for the cutted plane one it is occurring at a and uh, two it is occurring at again b so c it is occurring at again at 3 it is occurring at sorry uh, that's not correct so it is occurring at uh, point c 3 point cutting at c and d it is occurring at 4 it is occurring at d and then 5 we have so now we will uh, draw the development of this by extending the line okay so here it is we have 40 into 25 correct 40 into 25 so first we will extend these lines then using the compass we will cut each of these lengths okay first i'll be cutting for 25 then i'll be cutting for 40 again 25 then again 40 so that's how we will cut the arc on that extended lines so first i'm going to extend the lines here so this is what our rectangle prism dimension okay i'm extending the lines here okay So first I will take uh, the reference line from here we will consider the, that is A okay from A to B it is 25 we will take compass measure 25 mm from A to B okay we will measure this length from A to B AB 25 it is again from B to C it is 40 mm from B to C it is 40 again c to d it is again 25 so you can measure either from the diagram or from the that development surface again it is 40 d to a so d to a again 40 it is you can measure it from b to c only that is also 40 okay so that is our uh, a point so now we will draw vertical lines connecting at this uh, b point b c d a okay we draw we extend the lines here okay we need to draw here exactly okay after this so we need to uh, mark the naming here one where it is the one it is occurring again either you can measure from the top face or the bottom face i'm measuring from the top face so the point number one here on a and similarly point number two on the b okay and point number three on vertical head c okay and point number four on the vertical edge D okay can you can measure that uh, point 1 so point 1 we have uh, again it is on the 1 so it is nothing but 5 or 1 you can mention no problem in that so that is our 5 so now we have to join these uh, points with the straight line with the help of the scale so we have to join it 
So I join it all these points with a straight line with the help of the scale. To join all these points. And we need to dark this uh, re remaining portion of the prism. We need to dark this. So we have to dark it. the remaining portion uh, it has to be darker one okay that completes the problem